kwa huko na ukaacha mamu watoto labda yes ah uh, labda kubla haanza kalama mm. ya bibi ah uh, it is all in the mind <laughs> sex is in the mind <laughs> so and I, i had a lot of i actually didn't have time siku na hiyo time ya kumbao ni juu Kamino Tulale <laughs> 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 papa <laughs> 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 Right, so mtu wangu hapo hivi ndani ya Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and as you can see mzee mwenyewe Terence mm. ameweza kurudi bana kutoka mji wa Qatar so tunataka yeah. tujue mambo imekuwa aje kule tumeona ameenda amepeleka mambo yake kwa train amepiga mambwembwe <laughs> vipi mzee salama sana Ehe. yes habari ya Qatar Qatar kuzuri tunashukuru mm, safari imekuwa njema na tumerudi vizuri yeah. yeah na timu yetu ikashinda eh team gani Cameroon <laughs> kwa nimeambia Cameroon iweze <laughs> kuekelea ndio yeah. team tunategemea hapa ya nini sorry yeah. ya ya Africa yeah. yes experience imekuwaje Terence experience, experience imekuwa njema uh-huh. uh, E, chakula ni mzuri weather si mbaya sasa hivi kuna kuwa na joto sijai enda nasikiaga kuna kuwa na joto lakini sasa joto si mingi yeah <laughs> okay terrens yes. uh, oh si mse wa ku travel like um, ni mse umetoka sana ukaenda yes. dubai ukaenda wapi but i would like to know what did you find so unique about qatar kuliko hizo countries zingine umeenda I think uh, what really captures me is the systems. Yeah. Every everywhere I go naendaka nakuta kwa kuna systems poa. Uh-huh. Barabara ni poa. Those are the things that captures me. Uh-huh. Na na kuaga zikinibamba and I so wish uh-huh. and I know we are, we are we are headed there as a country. Uh-huh. We will get there. Yeah. But what what really captures me is uh, infrastructure, uh-huh. the system. Sheria uko iko clear. Uko wezi na kuvunja vunja sheria venye unataka. Yeah. And also you remember when the Qatar wa in the, before they they start the world cup policy are very clear mm. uh, as much as what wengine wanakuwa invited from the world yeah. they still maintain their their principles yeah. and and their you know their cultures kuna zile eh sheria zimewa guide kama mambo ya pombe mambo ya kutoingia kwa room na mtu ambaye amona but eh, eh, nini marriage certificate pamoja so na unakuta ni vitu zimefuatiliwa ni, ni ngumu kuhongana really what interest me Ukifika yeah. kule tuliona uko na mafans wengi sana. Kwa unasikia yes. tu, eh ngamwaya papa friend, <laughs> yeah. uli feel aje kupata ah, mafans. Ni feel poa sana, ni feel poa sana. We were actually when I came from South Africa, we were planning um tour huko ya kwenda Qatar eh, na Dubai, but hatukuwa iweza kuenda. But we are planning something for for Kenyans and um nimekutana na wakenya wengi sana huko. And I, I actually said on my stories, I feel so bad when I see Kenyans working hard there. They send money to people here in Kenya na watu wanakula pesa zao. Actually that is the message I came to tell people. Yeah. Wakenya wenye wako huku relatives aunties, wewe ni bibi ama ni bwana, 
mtu wako anafanya kazi huko anakutumianga pesa kazi yako ni kukula pesa yake mtu anajua akirudi huko amebaiwa ame ploti ama atakuwa kijengeo nyumba ama mtoto wake amelipia school fees ama any other development ama atafungua biashara then sadly when they come here after all that unakuta mtu amekula pesa yake that's actually what really hurt me and i was talking to a lot of kenyans and i'm here they tuko poa lakini saa zingine na kuoga challenge and then pia wasi wa nyumbani tunawekea watu wa UAE a lot of expectation. Manze pia ule ni mtoko na life yake anatengeneza do yake msimpige pressure mob because those guys and I want to congratulate all Kenyans in the UAE. Nimeona wa Qatar nilienda Dubai nikawaona these people are working so 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 hard. Let's respect their hustle and respect their money. That's actually the message I came with from Qatar. Mtu anakutumia pesa anafanya kazi huko hivi warabuni tafadhali heshima hiyo pesa. Heshima hiyo pesa na ifanye ile kazi imekusudiwa kufanya. Tusikule pesa ya Mkenya ambaye anafanya kazi huko na umekatu hapa. It's very sad because I spoke with a few Kenyans wakaniambia inauma. Inauma sana. Yeah. Tukizungumzia Qatar tena. Yes. Uh, it's a country yenye ikihost World Cup. Mm. Uh, watu walikuwa na different opinions mm. because walikuwa nasema the stadium zimejengwa na watu walifanyishwa forced labor and stuff. Mtu umekuwa kwa hiyo the same place mm. wenye tunaona so many bodies za Kenya zikiritan kutoka huko mm. tunazipokea ngapi hivi mm. Like what was your ni vile ulifika huko Qatar like ulifila jidu did you see maybe kuna vitu kama hizo zinaendelea ama tu zinakwangani still it's so it's so hard to tell because yeah. i've been there for a few days it's so hard to tell all these details because those are details so i can't speak of details that i'm not sure of uh, and um, i've i've seen cases of course kuna cases but for me specifically sikuweza kupekuwa ndani niweze kupata hiyo info so i can't tell of an information that i don't have at hand Yes. Okay. Also, ukitokanga hapa hivi mm. eh, ulienda huko pia ukapiga kiateka. Mm. Eh, ukasema kiateka amefika Qatar like yes. how have those guys free na mtu yote kuingia na kushoot content yake? Ah uh, imekuwa rahisi sana sababu kulikuwa na wa Cameroon pia huko Afrika wamevaa kama wachawi so hawajui kama ni au actually eh. <laughs> tulikutana na kuna Arabu tumekutana nao hapo kwa metro. Eh. Metro ndio train. Mm. So wanadhani si mi uva hivyo hawa <laughs> juni character so i have to take them through the <laughs> my instagram yeah. na wakani follow na wakani wakabambika yeah. uh, i really wanted to take ya take to 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 qatar uh, because i took uh, papa fred to south africa i've taken the abdallah to somewhere yeah. i've taken kamami i want all all my characters to be uh, visiting different country when i go Yeah. So. Okay, Terence, most of the time tumekuwa tu travel na mili. Mm. Sasa ukimefika huko ukiwa peke yako, maybe mm. ulikuwa na challenges, kupanga nguo, kufanya nini. Mm. Uh, kuna vitu labda ulipitia kidogo na pia upatie mili message. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is very patient. Thank you so much. Yeye ndiye aliniorganizea before I left. Bibi yangu alikuwa amepanga kila kitu. Siku saa. Kila kila kitu imepangwa vizuri. Eh nilikuwa challenge ilikuwa tu kidogo <laughs> ya timing. Mimi na kuaga saa zingine na timing inaweza nitoa off na kukumbuka vitu but we kept nilitamani kuenda na S eh, sana but she also had some engagement hata saa hii tukiongea kwa event amekuwa na events over the last three days. So ingekuwa ngumu for all of us to travel together. But hii nimempresent juu pia yeye kuna mali ataenda probably next week na ataniacha pia mimi. Ya, yeah, tutao, mbele zetu kipika huko. 